we got more big news about Car X3. Let's check out the latest news and latest screenshots. So the first post says today we have an unusual publication. We invite you to guess new features of Car X Drift Racing 3, which you can find in this concept art. Leave your answers in the comments and we'll confirm or deny later with a wink in face. Good luck. Now, as you can clearly see from the artwork, the developers are showing us damage in the game. The blue car's got damage, it's actually got sparks and the bumper hanging off. And the red car has a damage spoiler and it's basically hanging off the car. So clearly, the developers are teasing us with a big new feature of the game, which is going to be damage physics and car damage. So this will be the first time in any Car X game where they actually have damage physics and you can damage the car, and they're going to be making this game as realistic as possible. The more news we get about this game, the better it's looking. We know that you can build the engine, suspension, transmission and gearbox. It's going to be like a car mechanic simulator. But on top of that, we're going to have full damage physics for all the cars as well. And following on from that, I got another big announcement to show you and some really cool screenshots. So the next announcement says today we want to tell you about one of the important features of Car X3 which will bring even more realism and immersion to the drifting discipline. And they've called this feature Road 3.0. It says Road 3.0 is the general name for a whole set of improvements to the implementation of the roadway in our project. The updated and more precise track geometry with well-defined road boundaries will add even more excitement to the races while curbs, bumps and gradients will require additional driving skill from players. We strive to make every element of our game as realistic as possible, so the asphalt on the roads of Car X3 will not be the same. Even on the same track, you will encounter patches of varying degrees of freshness, whole sections with old and new asphalt, and different types of roadside. As you can see from the screenshots, it looks pretty crazy. Like the graphics of this screenshot in particular, honestly, looks way better than Forza. And that is saying something, because that's the car game with the best graphics. The post continues and it says track markings will also be updated, just like in real life, they will vary in their degree of wear and use throughout the track. Tire marks are a particularly important element of the visual design of locations. In Car X3, tire marks will not be evenly distributed throughout the track. Some areas will stand out more and some less. In addition, we also plan to make the track pattern itself a little more chaotic and realistic. And the announcement finishes with a question, how would you like the road surface in Car X3? Personally, I'd like it exactly as they're saying, where they've got different types of tarmac, new patches, old patches. They've got tire marks on the track to show you like the most popular drifting lines and stuff like that. Also realistic curbs, bumps and gradients. It all sounds really good, but it doesn't really make it clear if the track can be damaged. They basically showed us we're gonna have a damage model for cars, so car damage physics, but it's not really clear on the track. They're basically saying it's gonna be as realistic as possible, but they haven't mentioned anything about damage in the track. So that's pretty interesting. I wonder if that'll be a feature. But just these announcements alone are pretty crazy. The first ever Car X game with a damage model, and they're also developing the track in a completely different way, making it as realistic as possible. And as you can see from the screenshots, the graphics is looking really good. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for the damage physics? I think that's pretty cool. Imagine you're drifting door to door. You clip the car in front, you're actually going to damage that car. If you're drifting and you do a wall tap, your bumper might come off. I think that's a really cool feature. And then making the roads more realistic, again, what's not to love about that? Car X is the most realistic drifting game, apart from a set of Corsa, but you need a lot of mods for that. So making the most realistic drifting game more realistic, adding more stuff, I think is the right way to go. Like I said, the more news I hear about this game, the more I'm getting excited about it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. The developers will see what you got to say. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like, subscribe for more Car X news, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, everyone, take care.